Welcome back. I am Soul Gig. Hi, I'm Lucas Ferre. Okay, so last part we helped Akira get through the mountain again through the second objective. Ah, uh, we got through. I think that. Um, we've got now Na Nayako. Um, whatever. She is a TV reporter. Uh, we've got some new archive items to check out. Real quickly, I need to check that. Uh, ch -ch 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 yep. Just as I thought. That is the one thing I hate about this Windows operating system is that it tries to always um fix my my sound. It tries to mix them together. Opening of shaft number three east, September 13, 1958. Taken in front of shaft number three east. The photograph has also captured an inexplicable light source. Is that a UFO? <laughs> No, it doesn't look like <laughs> Okay, um, there's also the diary, which we already read, though it says that we haven't, along with the ID. Um, medical records, already saw that. Here we go, legend. This is the legend of a woman who lived for 800 years because she ate the flesh of a merman, said to give everlasting life. The woman remained forever young, never losing her beauty, and wandered the land dressed as a nun. Records recounting similar legends have been found in various parts of Japan. Yum yum. And then a statue carved in relief with a male and female figure. Dosijun statues are usually placed at the borders of towns because they are believed to ward off sickness and evil spirits. The mana cross has been carved into the statue, again reflecting Hanuna's unique blend of religious beliefs. Okay, so. We've got to find the key that the Shibito are looking for. Whoa. Well, I want to turn off the light. Um, get used to not getting around these levels with the light, with the flashlight. And it's night, so yeah. So we're gonna run down this way. Don't try going down the steps. There's a patrolling Shibito that will catch you. We want to drop down through the window here. I'm surprised she can take the fall. Okay, so I'm gonna run over here. And we actually need to go into the shaft over here. Because this is where the key we're looking for. There's a... Where is it? That's the guy, um, showing the way we need to go. As you can see, he's watching the shaft that, um, we began in. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. No, I think that's the wrong one. We're in, not shaft number five, we're shaft number three. Err... Oh, there we go. Finally. Found him. He will be patrolling. We do not want to get caught by him quite yet. It's okay if we get caught after we grab the item we want. I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to see him before he sees me. There he is. So he's going to wander back there, and we're going to run up and pick the key up to the custodian shack. How it got over into here, I do not know. What did, what did she just do? Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention. I was paying more attention to the enemy. And how I would not like to get caught. So I'm kind of... There we go. There it is. Pick up, pick up. Hurry. You picked up a key to custodian shack. Find a weapon inside the custodian shack. Okay, just run. He won't follow us out of the sh out of the shaft, so we're good. The only thing you need to worry about is the guy patrolling right here in front of the siren shaft. Let's see if I don't get caught here. Actually, I'm probably gonna get caught, but none of these guys can actually um catch up to us at this point. None of them have any weapons. Well, I mean... That one does. Well, I mean, uh... Oh! They don't have any, um... Revolvers. 
pistols or rifles. So as long as you can outrun them, you should be fine. Oh, that's so disorienting. Oh, stop that. That's horrible. Yeah, haha. -ha. Should have waited till he was more further, but further away, but whatever. None of these guys will follow us down here, so we're good after we get past this guy. There's another guy patrolling the shack. Um, he's going to be a little bit more tricky because... Oh, where is he? There he is. We want to draw him away from the door, which is over there. We already entered the custodian shack once. Let's see if I can't attract him this way so I can get into the shack without him bothering me. Come on. Yay. It is locked. Hmm. So, unlock it. It was unlocked with the key to custodian shack. So, we're going to open the door and pick up the handy dandy. You picked up Type 26 revolver. Head toward Jenakubi Valley from tunnel number one. So, we're going to just leave. Oh. Rap. Yeah, he's gonna see me. Fine. It's gonna take two shots to kill these guys. So now I'm gonna leave. Bye. Yeah, I just have to wait for him to go. Something falls, so let's go back. And what falls is the key box which you wouldn't have been able to open. You picked up key to shaft number five east. So now we've got the key to shaft number five, which we will need um, to do our next objective. Because what we need to do now is to attract, I'm gonna reload it. We've got plenty of bullets for this part of the level, so don't really worry. Oh. Come on. I love how easy it is to outrun these guys. They're like undead, <laughs> kind of. Um. So what we want to do is make our way back to the siren shack. Here we are. We want to now trigger the siren! Set off siren. <laughs> oh, crap. Well, we've got plenty of bullets to do this. And I would try to just get my way past him. Okay, so this is shaft number five. Unlock the door. You, it was unlocked with the key to shaft number five east. Open the gate. There's another guy in the shaft. But again, we've got a revolver. He doesn't. Oh, shot too soon. Doesn't matter. And because we switched the track, we can use the trolley. Um, yeah, here he comes. He's on the train tracks now. So what you'll do is you'll push it. Um, the trolley is mandatory for the second objective of this mission. So off it goes on its journey to save the world! Yeah, I just kinda got too ahead of me. But it's gonna have, um, knocked out most of the enemies. There's still gonna be some... Or not. Oh yeah, yep. At least one of the guys survived. 
I do not mind though, because we already got rid of the sniper, and that was the only thing blocking us. And there we go! Mission complete! Not gonna lie, the CGI version of this lady doesn't do her, like, photo face justice. <laughs> like, something is just, like, off when they did this. There we go. Mission accomplished. Now we're going to a movie stage. What is this? This village? Those people? And you too? What did that guy mean when he was talking about the other side? You... you think I'm strange, don't you? Of course I do. Well, I don't like this village much either. Don't worry. I won't let you turn into one of them. I promise. What's that supposed to mean? Hey! I'm trying to sleep. How can you sleep when all this is going on? Like, that girl doesn't look weird. He looks weird. Mm. Continue to next loop. Yay, we finished another loop. Now we're going back to 'sumi Daily Gazette has been added to the archive <gasps> I told you not to drink from there I hope you stayed here like I told you Listen, they didn't attack for no reason. Somebody is controlling them. We have to stop whoever's behind all this madness. From now on, don't listen to what anybody else says, okay? Just do as I tell you to do. Promise me. Don't I always do what you tell me to do? I think we should hurry up and try to get help before we do anything else. It's coming after us. We can't be safe here. Come on. Let's go. Drive away Shibito Brain. Find and replenish ammunition. Oh joy. We're almost out of ammo. Okay, so archive time. Uh, we don't have enough time to do this mission, but we do have item number two, which is Mizumi Daily Gazette. Mizumi Daily Gazette, morning edi August 3rd, 1976, morning edition. Torrential rains and landslides bring disaster to Mizumi District. 48 homes have been flooded with numerous other buildings damaged in landslides. 33 people have been reported missing and chances of finding survivors look bleak. Sorry about that, at an itch. Okay, so we'll continue this stage next part. See ya.